Hey scholars, welcome back. Happy Monday. Welcome to Mr. Brandon's writing lesson. So excited to see all of you here today. So scholars, it is Monday and you know what that means. It's time to announce the scholar of the week for kindergarten last week. What do you think it's going to be? Who was on Lexia and Zern for the longest? Is it you? 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 Who is it? All right, well, here we go. We're going to do our announcement. Get ready. All right, the scholar of the week for last week was Jordan Yates. Yay! Yeah, awesome job, Jordan. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, Jordan was doing an awesome job on Lexi and Zern. He was on Lexi and Zern for a very long time last week. So, scholars, keep it up. And tomorrow we're going to announce the winner for first grade. And we'll see who it's going to be for Scholar of the Week. All right, guys. So let's get started with our lesson today. So scholars, we have a really exciting lesson today, but we have to make sure we start off with getting out our supplies. So scholars, go ahead and get your supplies out. Get your pencils and papers out. And I will see you back here in a second. Hey, guys. We got our supplies out. We got our tools out. We are ready to go today. So we are ready for our writing lesson. Let's get started by warming up our brains a little bit. So, scholars, we're going to start by writing one sentence. So, kindergarten, I'm going to put up a prompt here for you in just a second, and you're going to copy the sentence. So, kindergarten, when you see a prompt, copy the sentence. And first grade, you're going to go a step further. So, I'm going to put up your prompt, but the sentence that I give you is not going to be correct. So, I want you to correct the sentence using proper capitalization, punctuation, and spelling. So first grade, correct the sentence when you see your prompt. All right, guys, here are your prompts. Go ahead and pause the video and write your sentences. All right, guys, got your brains warmed up? Kindergarten, you copied the sentence. Let's see what first grade did. So first grade, you had to edit the sentence and correct it. So the sentence starts with Mr. And Mr. has an M in it that it that needs to be capitalized so we need to cross that out and start the sentence with a capital M so mr. Brandon a person's name always needs to be capitalized so we'll cross out the lowercase B here and we'll draw an uppercase B likes scholars do you think that's how you spell the word likes no I don't think so so scholars the word likes is spelled L I K E S so let's make this C a K. All right. The next word is two. That looks good. The following word is right. So right is spelled W-R-I-T-E. So we need to add an E at the end of this word. And then the next two words look okay. About sports. Those are spelled correctly. But scholars, what are we missing at the end of the sentence? We're missing punctuation. We're mix missing a period to show that we are done with the sentence and we are done with the thought. Awesome job, guys. All right, so now we have our brains nice and warm, and we are ready to start our lesson today. So scholars, I'm excited for our lesson today. We have a fun video picked out for you. Uh, scholars, in just a second, I'm going to have you pause your video, and I'm going to have you click on the link below, and we're going to watch the video together and come back and write about it, okay? So scholars, pause your video and click on the link below. Where'd you guys go? Are you are you up here? No? Oh down here? No? Down here? The side over here? No? Here. Where? In the computer? Oh here you are. You're in the computer. Just like the fly was. Where was the fly? So that was a silly video, guys. So now we're gonna write about the video. So scholars, in a second here, kindergarten, I'm gonna put up your prompt and I want you to tell me where the fly was. So scholars, when you see your prompt, pause the video and copy the sentence and fill in the blank and tell me where the fly was. All right, now first grade, in a second here, you're not going to have a prompt, but I also want you to write one sentence telling me where the fly was and write another sentence telling me whether or not the man wanted the fly. Did he want the fly wherever the fly was? Did he want the fly? So first grade. Pause your sentence and write two sentences, one telling me where the fly was and another telling me, did he want the fly?
All right, guys, welcome back. You got your answers written down. Let's take a look here and see what you got. So kindergarten, you had to copy the prompt and fill in the blank telling you where the fly was. The fly was in the soup. So the fly wasn't under the soup, wasn't to the side of the soup, it was in the soup. So kindergarten, this is what you'll have. The fly was in the soup. That will be your sentence. First grade, that is also your sentence for the first sentence. But your second sentence is telling you whether or not the man wanted the fly in his soup. So, Scholars, what do you think? Okay. He, did, he definitely did not want the fly in his soup. So we have the man did not want the fly in his soup. So, Scholars, make sure that you have capital letters to start the sentence. Capital T here, capital T here. Make sure that you have proper punctuation to end the sentence. So we have periods at the end of the sentence. Make sure that you have proper spacing in between the words. Make sure that everything's spelled correctly. All right, guys, that's it for our lesson today. Thank you so much for joining me for another writing lesson. Uh, guys, keep up the good work on Lexi and Zern. Guys, make sure that you're getting on guided reading also. It's really important so that you can continue growing those brains, all right? So we're getting on guided reading once a day. Remind your parents. All right, guys, I will see you again tomorrow, and tomorrow we will... Find out who the Scholar of the Week is for first grade. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.